Well, I played football a good amount of my life, starting young as a chubby boy living in Texas and ending young as a chubby boy in Michigan. During my last year of playing, though, through a whole season of football, we played our rival Rochester Adams for our last game. They had historically crushed our school year after year, and this year was no different. During the last quarter, we were losing so bad that their coach has sent out his third string players. I was always a lineman, aka the most easy to be on athletic position possible, and had been the center for the team. Aside from long snaps, I was shit at those. Anyways, the third string defensive line for Adams had a player with Down syndrome and he was to go straight against me. Coach Perg, God bless his soul, literally his last name was Purgatory, didn't like to lose. His face would display just such anger and emotion during games. I'm talking so intense, his blood pressure would have been measured in PSIs. <laughs> I was in a sticky situation. Coach Perg had no idea that the person I was about to play, an extremely physical contact sport with, was a five foot five teen with Down syndrome. I, I would like to think that he would have loosened up if he had known those little details. So I went head to head with number 68 and I let him push me back a foot or two. I, let, I, I made sure not to let him get by, but I let him get some good hits in. I, I couldn't let him get to the quarterback, but I wanted him to have a good game. What's the point of playing if you can't get a few good hits in in a game? After the second play, unfortunately, Ego had to come in and rear its ugly head. As I got ready to snap the ball on the second count, number 68 started smack-talking me. Not not clean clean smack-talk either. I'm like, he threw in several remarks about, about me being a bitch and a pussy, and even began to combine the two words. I, I shrugged it off because it didn't really matter. If it added to his fun of playing, then great for him. It doesn't remove the reality that I physically and mentally am more capable. And that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly okay. This reality was quickly questioned, though, by another lineman on my team. He was a man of great drive and greater insecurity. Number 42 was always pining for the center position that I held. He began to tell me that if this kid is causing me issues, then why don't I just level him to the ground? Even though I thought my reasoning would be obvious and pretty much universally agreed on, I begrudgingly gave him a rundown on why leveling people with Down syndrome to the ground isn't the more reasonable of the available options. <laughs> he didn't seem to care and only added it was only added to by the frustrated barks of Coach Perk from the sidelines. I was, I was in an internal struggle. Basically mental purgatory. I don't know how to resolve this at least. So the next play started and as I took that first calculated swoop, I gathered the strength to spit out a very muffled, I'm sorry, as I lifted number 68 off the ground and returned him there in an aggressively hasty manner. Oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the, oh, here comes the, y'all don't 